Welcome to Sea Grower Sacker's channel and to the first round of the final four where you'll find the Mercury Dime going up against the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. In the final four, we're going to be using the following three criteria to determine the winner. The coin hunt, worth one point. Fun facts worth two points, and MVPs versus worth three points. One of the varieties that collectors hunt for on the Mercury Dime are the full bands on the reverse of the coin. According to PCGS, the full band designation is granted to those Mercury Dimes in which the central or middle set of bands show a complete split in the middle. Popular varieties that uh, collectors hunt for in the Walking Liberty Half Dollar are the varieties that have the mint mark on the obverse as opposed to the reverse. The mint director at the time wanted the mint mark on the reverse, but that did not happen until the mid-1917 uh, uh, mintages. So that you can find 1916 and 1917 coins with the mint mark on the adverts. I feel that the full band designation uh, can increase a coin's uh, value significantly. Therefore, one point to the Mercury Head Dime. As you know, both uh, the Mercury Head Dime and the Walking Liberty Half were designed by Adolf Weinman and are considered two of, if not the two, most beautiful coin designs in U.S. history. Robert Weinman, a renowned sculptor himself and son of Adolf Weinman, offers his views on his father's coin designs. The Liberty Head on the dime would have benefited, I think, by being a little softer in its treatment of the neck, he observed. It's a little too bold upright, hence, I think, too masculine. But everyone should make mistakes like that. As for the 50 cent piece, I have absolutely no quarrel. I feel that my father did handsomely by both sides for handling all the elements of the design. It can't be, fe can't be beaten, I feel. Wyman's also regarded the dime's reverse as a startling instance of the triumph of such an intangible thing as taste. I can't argue with the man, son. The uh, 50 cent piece is basically perfect, therefore two points to the walking liberty half. Here are the 10 most uh, valuable coins in each uh, collection, and uh, the average value based on the MS60 or better condition. Based on the numbers, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar gets three points. So a quick look at the uh, results. We've got one point going to the Mercury Head Dime and five points going to the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Therefore, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar will be moving on to the finals. As always, thanks for watching. And as I said, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar will be moving on to the finals. Stay tuned uh, later this week to find out who their challenger will be, either the Buffalo Head Nickel or the Morgan Silver Dollar. And also stay tuned for the uh, weekend giveaway.